hello everyone so in this video we will start making our first electric device so we will make uh, a very nice light so let's start to making it i got i got uh, this uh, object from unity asset store i will leave a link in description so you can get it also and now let's go to scripts and start making our code so let's create a new script and let's call this neon light and here uh, the first thing we will do is to inherit from electric device script because we need to use everything inside this script so first of all for the light we need uh, a lot of stuff first of all we need to have a reference for the object uh, that will be shiny that will glow actually so let's call this light object because we will get the material inside this object uh, we need also this will be private We need a renderer which is the render of the light uh, we will sign this from the material that on this object in the start uh, and we need also a light so we need a light to turn it on and off we need also uh, a color so we can modify the light of the color perfect so now we need to use a start but we if you see right here we have some warning uh, because that we already have a start uh, in in this uh, script so actually we need the logic right here but we need to add something to it so we will override the start so override start as i said we need the uh, code in the base script so we will leave this and we will add something we need to assign the light renderer is equal to light object get component render perfect we don't need the, the update function but also we need to override another function we need to override this function this function will tell us will notify us when the uh, device state is changed so that means this will we will be notified when the power is turned on or off so according to that we will turn the light on or off so right here we are getting a, a parameter which is the new state so if the new state is true that mean uh, that means the device is uh, working it, it's false that means we turned off the device okay so if the uh, light turned off first of all we need to turn the light object on so light game object or set active we need to set it to true and we should do the opposite if uh, the light turned off uh, we need also before uh, turning on we need to change the color of the light so uh, light dot color is equal to light color by doing this we will be able to change the color uh, whenever we want to any color we want actually uh, this will let us making a lot of several lights without uh, changing any code so also we need to do some uh, something more if you go to the object right here and go to the material right here we are have something called emission so when the light turn off we need this object to be like shiny so if you turn this on uh, actually the the object will shine 
so we should modify this uh, by the code so to to make this we should uh, go using the material which is in inside the renderer that we we have uh, get in the start so light renderer dot material dot enable keyword we should enable the, the emission underscore emission we need also to change the color of the emission so also light renderer dot material dot uh, set color and we need set uh, the emission color and we need change it to the light color and here we should make the opposite we need to disable this keyword so let's just disable the keyword perfect so let's go back to unity and right here uh, let's first of all uh, add the script and here we have a lot of requirements because we have we are inheriting from electric device script first of all we need a name so let's call this neon light so right now we should also add a box collider let's modify this collider So right now, if the player look to this object, he will see the name of Neon Light. Also need to have uh, some cost. Let's make it five. Need all also some ports. We will add this uh, later. And uh, we need the light object. So the light object is the object to which holds the material we need to set the emission on. Uh, so this is the object so let's assign this object we also need to change the color of the light we need also a light so let's add a light get light let's add uh, some point light you can add uh, whatever light you want it doesn't matter so let's get this here let's increase the intensity this will be okay and let's turn it off because the script will turn it on and the light uh, is turned on so let's add our ports let's go to prefabs because we have uh, a prefab of the ports we need uh, to add two ports let's add one here maybe here and let's add another one right here so this will be the input port let's give it a name and make sure the type is input and right here should name this output port and make sure the type is output port perfect and let's assign them to the lists so this for input for uh, input list inputs list and this is for output list perfect we are done right now we can start the game and see the results so now this is our light we don't have any input right now the input is uh, zero the collider is uh, a little bit big let's change this because uh, i cannot detecting the ports they are conflicting so let's make it smaller this will be okay so let's go to unity and start the game and now we need to get some energy let's connect this to the power storage and now we are charging the battery and yeah we, we charge it a little bit it's enough because we need five the device cost is five 
So let's connect this for the input port. So yep, our light is working. Perfect. And uh, if you seeing right here, we have an output port, and the output port will have forty five, while in the in the input we have fifty because uh, the light is using five and sending the remaining power to the output. So right here, if we have another lights, we can use uh, this port for them. So let's do that. So let's go to the first one and connect this. And from the output port, let's connect the other one. Yep. And from this, let's connect to this. Perfect. And we can do this until the power uh, until we have no no remaining power. In the next video, we will make some uh, electrical parts like switch, like a splitter or a root combiner. Uh, they will help us to make all the connections more organized. So see you in the next video.